All right, welcome back. Let's continue what we were doing. Oh shit! Yeah, I was gonna say, does that continue on the fucking placebo? But it looks like it does. A little worried there for a second. Are we? We're moving. Where the hell are we moving to? Huh? Okay. Obviously, this character's probably gonna die. This doesn't seem like someone who's gonna be around long, does he? Computer. What? I'm looking for that thing I'm not supposed to accept. I want to accept it. Where is it? Uh, Mr. Genius. I don't know what else to do. Um, that wasn't the phone, was it? Oh, for fuck's sake. He's like, you do that, and then all of a sudden the computer... You're just a senile old shithead. How do I know what's red? I'm gonna try this yellow theory. Yep, it's the yellow. Or the green, I'm sorry. Today's word, the wolf knows what the ill beast thinks. A bad person can easily find and identify another bad person. Thanks for that, I guess. Is the turtle awake yet? Get up, fucker. Kusabi, huh? Weird ass name. You hungry? You want some shrimp? Some of that white lake shrimp you like? Sorry, but just wait a little longer. The HC unit, huh? Why are you having a deep conversation with a turtle? I'll need my old business cards. <laughs> okay, so we really are. Right? We're gonna talk to the heinous crime units. Unit. Shut up, Brain. Morishima memo. Grab my old news agency business cards and head to the HC unit. Met a detective named Kusabi. Oh, okay, okay. Did they say you don't know your turtle's name? I was very confused with that. He was talking about the guy he was meeting. Okay. The old man reminds me of a truck driver. That's kind of fucked up. All old people remind him of truck drivers. Okay. Huh? Huh? That detective, Kusabi. He still hasn't shown up. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> He's like, I'll tell you, detective. Detect this, bitch. Stands him up. That'd be awesome. It's been 30 fucking minutes already! Am I getting stood up? <laughs> hey! You the guy I'm supposed to meet? I could tell by his eyes that from the get-go he had doubts about me and was on the defensive. Why didn't we meet at the fucking donut shop, you jackass? I told you I was going there anyway! They say it's a, it's a, it is a detective's job to doubt. And apparently they're right. I tried heading into the main topic directly, but this guy dodged it. I just picture like Muhammad Ali. Fuck. <laughs> Anything at all is fine. Even just something small. I got no idea. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you shit anyway. <laughs> That's fucked up. Okay, I'm just gonna ask frankly, but what is Kamoi's deal? Well, if I knew, I wouldn't be in a place like this now, would I? I see. Hmm. It's like two idiots. Oh my god, this is like two idiots talking. It's awesome. Kusabi! You're a veteran detective, right? You probably got one or two reporters with whom you're familiar. <laughs> but you know. How about switching things up once in a while? Huh? You trying to get in my pants or something? Nice. I can tell how passionate you are. Okay then, so what the fuck's your deal? That stuff about the news agency, that was bullshit, right? Why do you think so? Because you look pretty fucked up. Look into the goddamn mirror. You're close enough. I'm just a freelance writer. Yeah, he does look fucked up though, doesn't he? To be honest, I am pretty down on my luck. Which is why I'm after info on this fucker. Come on. I wonder. You know, I don't dislike old school detectives like yourself. Bullshit. He looks exactly like Mulder. An Asian Mulder. 
<laughs> I have to wonder if that's from the X-Files in case you don't know. Well, anyway, if you think of anything, please call me anytime. Don't hesitate. Why do, why do you have a woman's... whatever. Don't bother leaving your card, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. This is part of sales, you know. I'll be back. <laughs> so I ended up being made to sit around wasting time with Kusabi. But this old guy should prove useful. It's more of a premonition than a hunch. But he'll be worth hanging on to. Next time I'll bring him some donuts or something as a gift. <laughs> a nice little present for the hardworking dicks in the HT unit. Okay, the hardworking dicks in the unit is a... Uh... God damn it, brain. Ow! What are we doing? This is like front mission graphics at times. Though. I like it. It's just, it just it takes me back to that game. God damn, I want to finish Front Mission Three. Fucking hardest game I played in a long, I think ever. Well, strategy game. That's uh, in Ohana, doing it to death. What? Death by Snoo Snoo. Went to the HC unit. Apparently, knows nobody knows anything about Kamoi. Of course, that's bullshit though. <laughs> Excuse me. But we did come to an understanding. I should be able to visit again. Anyway, that's how it's going. Got any directions? Anyways, this should be enough for today. This job is more complicated than I thought. But the conditions aren't bad. Well, if they're gonna pay me this much, woo! Gotta try my best not to piss that guy off. I think you already pissed him off. Why do you have pool balls on your fucking table? To Tokyo Morishima. Okay. Someone saw Kamoi Ohara. Met with him. Meet with them. Preparations for coverage have already been made. 4 p.m. on April 9th, 24 wards. Hachisu Haka Hachao? Fuck Christ. Hachisu Kachao. I have no idea if that's even close. <laughs> Flock to cafe called Prussian. Your contact's name is Kaiji Inzawa. He'll be holding a job hunting paper. That doesn't help. These are shitty, shitty times. Witness. Reporting. T, I need you. Okay, wait, don't, just do the message! This is Daedalus? <laughs> I understood, we'll follow directions. The client is as impatient as always, I see. Daedalus? Why the hell did it back out and bring me back in? That was weird. Today's word. The best swimmers are oftenest drowned. Is that an appropriate sentence? Well, uh, even the most, even those most in their element can sometimes be swept away. But what was the word? Drown? What the fuck was the word of the day? Word? But the word is not in there anymore. I don't get this. Huh? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, the 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 words he's saying there. Okay, got it. In the car. I don't care what the cop says, I can beat off and drive. Ah! <laughs> huh? Where are we? He's driving like an asshole. Block two, I got it. We've already gone past like 18 blocks. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I guess it doesn't mean it's two blocks from him, but still. That was actually pretty cool. I actually think we were really moving in distance there. It's not easy to do because it seemed like he's getting closer to that building. Tea room Prussian. It, it's these little things like that people don't realize. But that takes a lot of fucking work. I was a bit late, but the guy holding the job hunting paper still hadn't shown up. It's not like those old school animes where they appear to run but they don't move at all. 
I fucking hate those. I can't stand them. I ordered coffee and looked around. And they're not moving at all. I can't take that shit seriously. Why is your hand so red? Maybe he was beaten off. Prussian. The place wasn't clean like most coffee shops. It feels more like a bar. It wasn't bad. I desperately tried to hold back the impulse to have a drink. What? As I was chain smoking, the guy finally showed up. He was holding the job hunting paper. He was out of breath and looking at his eyes as he looked around the shop. How do you look at your eyes? What? That doesn't it? I'm trying to do it. Ah! I can't. How do you look at your eyes? Am I misreading this? And looking at his eyes as he looked around the shop. He somehow didn't really look Japanese. I have no idea what the hell that sentence means. No, that's not it. Ah, here we go. For an instant, he seemed to look down on everyone in the place with a really peculiar expression. He definitely didn't look like a trustworthy dude. That's the impression I got. Christ, you held that in all the time? He just exhaled after that. Jesus. And Zawa sat in the, front, in the seat in front of me. His earlier expression had disappeared, and with an attitude that made it seem as though he was born with it. He ordered a coffee, coffee in a really respectful and almost self-depreciating way. I'm trying to picture that. I, I want an espresso! I, I have no idea how... I, ah, I want to see this. I want to see how you do that. I think I know what they're going for, but I can't figure out how to put it in words. He looked like your normal run-of-the-mill businessman in his 50s. He seemed so regular that I was sort of taken back. <laughs> He's so plain. <gasps> That's fucking stupid. I totally thought he was unemployed. <laughs> but he said something about still being on the clock, and so he had only 20 minutes to spare for me. That was fine. Whatever. Fuck him. The geezer wiped away his sweat with a hand towel. What? And we started talking. What the fuck? You know, I saw Kamoy. Where? This very neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man. You know the Babylon Shopping Center, right? Right next to there. About five days ago. Maybe. <laughs> he was walking or running. Or driving. It was something. He was doing something. That's a real scoop. That's right. It's a scoop. I spoke to the police as well. He's like, ooh, scoop. I'm going to get some ice cream after this. <laughs> How did Kumoi look? He was by himself. He was just walking along normally. It was the middle of the night. Why would you be following the middle? With the I was working late that day and tried to get a taxi. What kind of guy was Kamoy? That's what I want to know. Like how he looked? What the fuck is with you and being obsessed with how he looks? He was like a new moon. Um. He looked like the moon. It's a weird smile, but that's how he looked to me. Oh, simile. Smile. Let's say, what the fuck? I think we were saying moon and smile. <laughs> God damn it. I don't get it. You don't. Get hit? What is Kamoi to you? Possesses a terrible creative power. The power to create beautiful literature. We must kill him. Don't you think so? With that creative power, he's able to distort everyday things. Did you know that? Most people known as geniuses are the same. The creative power of a genius holds the power to encroach upon reality. What the fuck are you talking about? And so, to me, <laughs> he really can't pay attention. He's thinking about that scoop of ice cream. The crimes he commits are a type of creative work. Even his murders. What? Are you saying Kamoi's an artist? He's just a criminal. He's not a Subway sandwich maker. Because they're artists, whether you want to call them, call them that or not. What are you? One of his believers or something? Well, actually, I really don't like putting it that way. You know? 
You're pretty, you're pretty rude. Why the fuck would you believe in Kamoi? Hmm. I just wanted to tell you what he was like, as is. In the end, I sort of doubt whether Nzawa actually saw Kamoi. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you know shit. So that asshole is just walking around freely. The world we live in. All these people who are somehow fucked up. Men. Women. Girls. Boys. All over the place. Who just said children? Fuck Kamoi's believers. Anyway... I might as well go check out Babylon. Red is almost out of food anyway. I keep thinking of Red Foreman. Dumbass! <laughs> huh? Tokyo's room. Come on. Sounds like the music's out of tune, it's weird. Oh, shut up! Who doesn't talk to themselves in their own house? He's giving himself the silent treatment. Who does that? I mean, really. Go over here. Actually, no. Red, what are you doing? Answer me! And what are you doing? Well, that wasn't the window. I gotta clean this window more often. Well then? <laughs> French words. <laughs> um, that wasn't the phone, was it? Does he like fart himself every time I look at the phone? Is that, I don't hear a noise. It's <laughs> Today's word. I don't understand these. Today's word. Okay, today I get death. Death is the greatest leveler. One station in life doesn't matter at all. People are simply dead when they die. Who the fuck is sending you this? You need to kill them. <laughs> Period. You need to kill them. What? Oh, he's saying nothing again. That'll teach me. There's nobody there. What are you fucking giving the silent treatment for? The woman at Babylon. A word, yellow like pup. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think that's an abbreviation. I think it's it's pus. <laughs> God damn it, brain. This headache. This headache just won't go away. I can still hear that voice. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> that's the only voice I hear. It won't go away. Something was wrong, and he's saying Aflac. I know that's not the guy that does it, but I think he'd be better at it. Something was wrong with me. That woman died, and then Kamoi. I don't know. Ah! Go away! <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, this guy's fucking weird. I like him. You live near Jackhammer? Oh, you live on Jackhammer. Oh, no, we're going there. Okay. It's called Jackhammer? Really? We're gonna get Jackhammered at the Jackhammer. Give me the, the, the Irish whiskey. The, 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 I want that. What's the Irish whiskey? Sir? Machete? You don't look like you got dumped by your girlfriend or something. Huh. Mm, you fucking stupid machete. <laughs> In fact, this is the case. There's a bit of advice that we always give at times like this. I don't want to hear it. Shut the fuck up. Oh, come on now. What? First you buy a knife. Hmm. I'm listening. A cheap one will do. One that fits well into the palm of your hand is best. Then you buy some wood. Wood? <laughs> yes. You can just get, get a random place, oh, piece from a lumber dealer. Who calls it a lumber dealer? The size doesn't really matter. God damn, I hope women aren't watching this. Oh. About the size of a brick probably works best. I really don't care who who's watching, I just... God, I'm so terrible with this. I act like a fucking eight-year-old, I'm sorry. Then you whittle away at the wood with a knife. What the fuck are you doing? 
With what? The knife! Idiot! It'll calm you down. This will calm you down more than anything. This is fucking weird. This is something that people around the world have been doing for a long time. Wood whittlers. The Indians did it. Same as when monks would carve statues of Buddha. You know those carved wood anteaters on people's mantles? No. The ones that Eskimos made? That's the same thing! Humans may have even begun using tools because of this. In order to calm themselves down, whittling something, or making something out of clay were likely the first ways in which humans utilized their creative power. And so, of course, you could make some clay into a doll, or a bowl, or a pot, or something too. A little golem, whatever, I don't give a fuck! And so, when God was feeling a bit down, maybe he decided to cheer himself up and got some clay and created people. That's my theory at least. God damn, this guy's dumb. Anyway, just go ahead and try making some sort of tool, anything at all. With your own two hands. So should I try making something with my own hands, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Gives him the finger. Yeah, I like it. I created it. That's some laughable shit, man. Get out of my fucking face. Jesus Christ, I was hoping he actually did it. Did he do it? Are we gonna have some, like, Woodwiddle here? <laughs> Woodwiddle. A Whittle Wood? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Brain. You better, you better have done something. I don't care, it carved like a wood stick figure, but you should have carved something. What the fuck? Oh, I thought we were like in an attic, okay. Why is that the first thing you want to see when you get up, you fucking weirdo? That wasn't the phone. Jesus Christ. Well, he does say new stuff to Red, though. What the hell? Asleep? You were asleep? Why can't he sleep, dick? Word. Penis. <laughs> Come on. Somebody do it. Are you alive? Up. He doesn't care. Kamoy is back. Murder at Babylon Shopping Center. One dead. Kamoy back in hiding. He's back. Murder at Babylon uh, Shopping Center. At approximately 7 p.m. on April 10th, a young woman was discovered dead at the Babylon Shopping Center. The victim's chest had been hollowed out with a sharp blade, and the M.O. suggested the killer was Kamoi O'Hara, who was hiding after killing four people, including two members of the security force. The victim of the murder at the Babylon Shopping Center was 24, Ward's resident, Kai Nan Nanami, 23 years old. Uh, <laughs> police rushed to the scene, but suspect Kamoi O'Hara had already disappeared. Although, you suspected, you should have checked. Although the Babylon Center was full of shoppers, at the time of the murder, police have yet to find any witnesses who actually saw Kamoi. Kamoi! What's going on in the world today? Okay, are you alive? Huh? I didn't want to read that, god damn it! I want to know the word. Are you alive? So apparently you were there at Babylon. I rushed to the scene too. I was way later though. Then I heard that someone had been rescued by the AC unit and I tried going there as well. I got a hold of Kasabi, who's trying to find out who it was. And that's when I found out it was you. You were in a coma, huh? I was really surprised. Having an ex-co-worker die isn't exactly the greatest feeling, you know. In the end, it looks like you didn't die after all, though. Did you see something at Babylon? I've heard that Kamoi is hiding out somewhere in the 24 wards. And that's it. There are several suspicious stories flying around. Please respond when you read this. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it tomorrow. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. Even if you can lean on a cane, don't lean on people. Don't depend on others too easily. So the word of the day is cocaine. Cane. Coke. Cocaine. I'm not giving reasons. Cocaine's the word of the day. Huh? Kusabi. Answer me! Oh, wait. I, can't, I thought the turtle was named Kusabi. <laughs> Damn it. I forgot Kusabi's a detective. At Babylon, something happened to me. I fell into a coma. And then, Kusabi, then, and then, 
Ah! <laughs> Fuck! I don't know! What the hell? Maybe it is cocaine. How the fuck is this backstory? I'm more confused than ever. I'm gonna be patient, but this is fucking confusing. What do we got? That old man might know something, but still, I don't want to talk to him. He's making me wait again. <laughs> he knows how to play it. Hey! Sorry for the wait. Hello. How's it going? Okay. Good. Have you tried pedigree? I want to thank you. It seems you took care of me. Is that your thanks? Well, it's my job, you know. What happened with Kamoi? I got nothing to talk about. I just came to thank you, Jesus Christ. I'll try your dog food later. I didn't mean to try to grill you. So you found Kamoi? So you do know what's up. Whatever, I'll tell you. We secured Kamoi. Huh? Really? Yeah, really. We got him in custody right now. But he won't say shit. He's like a fucking mannequin. He doesn't say a goddamn thing. Wait, which uh, which mannequin? Mannequin 1 or Mannequin 2 movie? I need to know for uh, reference point. Uh, where, where did you... This broad named Ayame was the key. Ooh, Ayame. She was in a relationship with Kamoi. He was in that broad's... What's it called again? Oh yeah, he was in her atelier. It was so simple. I can't believe it. Why not? Are you one of those dickheads who never who thought he'd never be caught? Well, maybe. <laughs> not by you, idiot. Uh, but why are you telling me this? You said it yourself, remember? I really wish they could be like, on the 5th of November. Uh, that thing about having a few reporters, I'm familiar with. Actually, it's because I have a bunch of stuff I want to ask you about, too. Oh, fucking double incentive bastards. <laughs> Big Dick met with you at Babylon, right? You were all fucked up, so you may not remember the first time you met Big Dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Big Dick. It's a nickname I gave him. It's a pretty nice name, huh? Maybe you don't get it. Anyways, whatever. I <laughs> I don't get where he was going with that statement. I'm going to a hot spring with my woman tomorrow. Now it's like he's trying to prove he's straight. With my woman. <laughs> don't be sniffing around like a fucking dog too much, okay? And don't go writing a bunch of bullshit about Kamoi like it was leaked. Don't screw me over. Damn. I was gonna screw him over. <laughs> Seriously? What a surprise. Oh, what the fuck? Huh? What was that? Just now. Jesus Christ. That was weird. T. Sorry for the squeaky chair, I'm fat. I do what? What now? 587? Okay. Actually, I probably could tighten them and stop it from squeaking, but I'm, I'm lazy. Fat and lazy. Catch, ladies. <laughs> huh? Up, oh, word. Mimo. Alright, come on. What, what do you want, Morishima? Kamui was captured. If it's true, then it would have been about 20 hours after Babylon. I'll use this story. Maybe sell it to the news via Erica. No, that's impossible. <laughs> totally impossible. Either way, someone's gonna write about it. First, it's a hassle. More importantly, Babylon. What I saw that time. No, what I experienced. I can't get my head around it. Anyways, something happened at Babylon. 
That's probably also what Kusabi has a hunch about. What the fuck? If you're not getting flashback to the first time you met Big Dick. <laughs> I'm gonna end this and bring you right back. I'm gonna be recording in bulk today, so I'm probably gonna stop saying hi and welcome and we're just gonna play and enjoy, alright? I don't, I don't really like to be one of those catchy YouTubers that has a locked intro, locked outro. Oh, I just wanna have fun. I, I'm, this isn't a school report or anything, man. I'm having fun. I'm sharing times with people and just hopefully having a great time with everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I just said I don't have outros. Well, I just fucked it up by saying that I'd... Sh shut up. Later.